everybody, this is Oliver from Neo, and my mission is to bring you closer to Japanese green tea and today what we're going to look at is actually the different steepings and my most interesting point today I want to focus on is on the third and often last steeping of a Japanese green tea. So when you go in the world of high quality green tea in Japan, then you often see that there are different or several steepings possible. And most of the teas there, we are tending to three or even four different steepings. So today I want to focus on with a Fukamushi from the region of Shizuoka. Um, I want to focus on this third steeping and I want to do it in two different ways. One is I keep it at a lower temperature, so 60 degrees, 140 Fahrenheit, and I want to go up to even 90, 95 degrees with the other one, so a second T, and really see what is the difference of the taste and how actually the experience is because I have seen both in Japan. So on the one hand that we go through the steeping with the same temperature or we just raise the last one just to give the tea again a kick and then um, you have just a different taste perception, different taste profile of the tea. So this is definitely something worth looking at. And now I want to go with you into this and let's have a look how the different steepings are. So in the first point, I'm going to go now for the two first steepings. I'm just going to prepare them now. And then um, I'm going to go into the third and have a look at a deeper point in a deeper view into the third steeping. So let's go and start with this. Here I already got the leaves in. This one here I still have to fill up and now we go through the steeping. So first steeping which I will do is um, I will add around 100 milliliters with 65, 60 to 65 degrees water which is 140 to 150 mm -hmm. Fahrenheit and I'm just going to leave it in for 45 seconds. Good, so this is um, uh, what we have done now. So we have one uh, steeping number two and steeping number three. And here we got two different temperatures of steeping, but just let's go through now number one and number two quickly, just to compare the two steepings. Mm. So first one, very, very intense, typical for Fukamushi is really this strong kind of, uh, kind of uh, sweet, fruity, kind of full-bodied, also quite dense, a little bit more of a sensual oil taste. So we really have a dense, nice, beautiful fruitiness, a sweet tea, first brewing. This is just something you, when you dive a little bit into the Fukamushi world, so this steep steamed tea world, then definitely this fruitiness and this stronger kind of umami flavor, but still sweet, fruity, and a little bit savory very beautiful with the Fukamushi. Now let's go to steeping number two. Mm. Still very fruity, a little bit more of a vegetal taste coming up. So here we got a little bit more of this kind of uh, grassy taste coming through, but still very fruity, very nice, a little bit more also the umami flavor coming in, a slight tingling on the top of the tongue. So quite, quite, still quite strong on the fruity side, still quite strong in this kind of round, full-bodied, sweet flavor profile. So Fukamushi definitely, besides its beautiful color, here we see it's a little bit more milky, while in the second brewing it got a little bit greener. So you can see in comparison here we kind of have a little bit more of essential oils seeming in the water, a little bit brighter, while the second steeping really got into a beautiful, strong green color. And now let's go to brewing number three. So we have two different temperatures. Here we have uh, the 1995 degrees uh, Celsius water and here we are 
around 60 to 65 so uh, we definitely we definitely have two different color two different temperatures and also the color seems a little bit darker here with the 90 degrees one meanwhile the 60 degrees celsius one is quite um quite nice strongly leaning into the second brewing while here with the second brewing we are a little bit darker so let's go now into this last steeping into the flavor profile of this last steeping so let's take 60 degrees first still very sweet very fruity very round it starts also in the third brewing already loosening a little bit it loses a little bit of its uh, flavor this tea so the fukamushi is really strong in the first in the second one the third one drops a little bit but it's still very sweet very round kind of the sweet fruitiness turns a little bit more in kind of a sweet flowery taste profile the umami is a little bit less strong and the tea becomes kind of in a rounder sweeter and light tone so a little bit in the brighter tones pretty pretty nice and now let's see how this the the temperature or the stronger temperature higher temperature um evolves with the taste So what is typical and this is also something you might have experienced when you have done the tea brewing too, with a too high temperatures and this is actually what the Japanese also told me is that when you bring out or when you have the last steeping and you bring in a hotter temperature you're really kicking out also out of the tea into your brewing a little bit more the catechins a little bit more the detox because the catechins especially the egcg is known to be kind of this um, purifying and freeing your body more from the free radicals so detoxifying or the effect has been linked to this and what you're doing with the last brewing when you do this is that you really extract the catechins and the tea turns much more on the bitter side so you're a little bit stressing the tea and trying to get out all the flavors but what i must admit is here in the third brewing the tea becomes lighter meanwhile here due to the fact that we're adding a little bit more of this kind of, uh, of, of bitter tones to the tea the tea becomes just a little bit more flavorful so it's definitely a good way if you want to kick your last brewing or kind of before the tea ends to just go up with the water temperature and then trying to extract this extra added or these extra flavors of the tea very sweet smooth and here water's quite hot so mm -hmm. much more than the green the grassy side and the bitter side citrusy side kind of a, of a melon peel a lemon peel when you take it in your mouth and it has this a slight bitterness a little bit of sourness to it this is what i get from the tea so definitely a good point a good thing good way if you want to extract a little bit of extra flavors then go for the third brewing at a higher temperature here i chose 95 degrees so i hope you like this one thanks a lot for watching and if you ever have a question don't hesitate to ask we will be happy to answer them thank you bye bye and see ya